Fuck writing this shit down. Fuck writing this shit down. Video is where it's at. So. I want to make a movie. Called Jared Brooke. And I'm the director. <laughs> I want to make my movie. I want to make my movie up until now. I want to interview my friends and my family of what they say about me. Of what they say, what kind of person I am. Make it like a documentary. It's called Jared Brook. Draw my life. You're meant to be an author. You're meant to be a poet. You're meant to be creative. You're meant to do art. I think you need to buy some spray paint. Do some spray paint art. But I think you should honestly switch it over. Either. I think you should do it from your name. Because it's where you came from. It's where. It it's what made you who you are today. So it's something you can be fucking proud of. You can be proud of where you came from. So whatever thought you're of having of dissing your family or whatever the fuck you're thinking, like, that's not how it has to be. It's not how it has to be. It's just a fucking thought you had in your mind. Like, you can make it right. You can make it okay. You can bring them together. It, you don't have to just sit there and be pissed. You can f fucking have an action about it. The reason why you don't like family is just because it's they're not in your it's not in your life the entire time, and you that's what you think family is is what's who's there every day. That's all you. In the utopian world, your parents should be your best friends. They should. Same with your brother. Well, I think brothers are allowed to dislike each other, but I think, like, or, I mean, well, I don't know psychology, but I. This is just one of the many tapes of my fucking life, dude. <laughs> fucking make a six hour movie of my life. No. This is what you want to do. What you want to see. I'm so proud of you, Jared. <laughs> I love you so much. You're so handsome. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're so so brave. You're so brave. You're so brave. You're so brave. When 
I was like three years old, I witnessed, I walked in on my brother being molested by one of the neighbor kids. And I never told anybody about it. And growing up, when I got a little bit older, I there was an altercation between me and my brother. And in this altercation, I brought up that event. And I just remember his fucking, his face when I said it, and it just fucking destroyed him. And that is just something that I've carried with me all my life ever since it's happened and it's Brett you ever fucking watch this if if something ever happens to me or if this is all that fucking remains of Jared Brook this is fucking video I just want you to know that I carried that with me my entire life and I I wanted I want wanted to talk to you about it I just I didn't want to fucking bring it up I don't want to fucking refresh your memory of that because I, I I can only imagine you'd be trying to forget it and if I died right now and I never I just one of the biggest things I've fucking dealt with and I wish I would have told somebody but I don't know that I could I I know I could have I know I could have but I don't I don't know why I didn't I that's that's Brett I'm sorry I don't I don't know why I didn't say anything I don't know why I didn't say anything I don't know I'm sorry It's because I'm a coward. <laughs> it's because I'm a coward. I'm sorry, Brett. I know that was hard for you. I mean, it was fucking hard for me. They didn't fucking talk about it, but I can't even imagine if this fucking video gets leaked or whatever. I just... I don't know, man. I... Parts of me think I should just fucking delete all of this fucking stuff and just fucking delete it all and fucking no no that's impractical that's not these videos are the only things that are fucking gonna be here bro so might as well let the fucking people know what you fucking been through what you fucking seen the truth shall set you the truth shall set you free. So when I was five years old, I was five years old, I was assaulted by my father for the first time. I had my head slammed down into the fucking ground and I was thrown around the room, thrown into objects, walls, and I was when I was five. When I was six, I tried to hang myself from a tree. At seven, I hung myself from my bunk bed. I stood there and I hung for about a minute until the fucking belts that I was using broke. I loved Bandit and Casey. Those were some good dogs. Some of my earliest memories. One sticks out for sure. Like, or I mean, there's a couple that I've thought about that I don't think I've ever talked about before. But it was um, we had a neighbor. His name was Dave, and we would just always go out there and have like squirt gun fights and shit. I mean, it sounds stupid, but it was just something that I always.
bomb in the fireworks. Just. <laughs> just sitting there. I mean. You just talk to me like a man, dude. Those two guys were the father figure that I didn't have. My dad. I used to write rhymes when I was little. I had a notebook. And one day, my dad decides to take that notebook. And he reads to what I'm doing. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. And he proceeds to tell me that no son of mine will do black music in my household. And he just proceeds to tear up my notebook. next racist act in my life was when he told me that I couldn't be friends with our next door neighbor named Marcus. They said that it was based off something that his older brother did to our house. I never saw the paintballs or whatever that they talk about. And even with that logic, that doesn't explain why I couldn't still be friends with Marcus. I had nothing to do with him. My first best friend was taken away from me. There was a time when I was I say around five. There was one time where I tried to choke myself to death. I remember it right outside because I was laying right right in front of my little toy chest that I had in my room. And I just tried fucking strangling myself to death. Middle school, middle school sucked. Seventh grade, I was bullied. Just called gay. Um, I tried getting a change of schools because it was so bad, and my mom did nothing. And shit. Mom did nothing. She looks like shit. Shit. Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. Why is it flashing? This is annoying. Dude, fuck this phone. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Middle school was rough. I was called gay. Tried getting transferred. Mom didn't do anything. She just told me to go back and tough it out. And never once did she check on me. The only question she ever asked was, are you? That was her only concern. Was that her son is not gay. Which, I'm still not, Mom. Still not. But... I'm so glad that was your first question that you asked me instead of, are you okay? From your kid just opening up saying that he's being bullied at school and your first question is, are you gay? Instead of, are you okay? Are you gay? Eighth grade was better. Began to get more friends. High school, freshman, awesome. 
sophomore year sucked. That's when I keyed Billy's Billy's car, and that's when my parents. Um, And I keyed Billy's car. And I could have gotten away with it too. But my dad... She kept on asking me, did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? And I was denying it for a while. And then, I don't know, he convinced me. He manipulated me into telling him the truth. And then he proceeded to, to flip it on me and tell him on me and then that led to my downward spiral and that's when I started partying that's when I started stealing bottles that's when I started smoking that's when I was because <sighs> my dad turned me in he betrayed me He should have protected me. He should have protected me. Not turned me in. And I know I should take responsibility for it. I really should. And I do. Like, I, I admitted that I did it. But it's still... As a father figure, like, he... He doesn't have points. Like, he doesn't... 